Okay, in terms of hardware, of course you're gonna need the Connect Xbox adapter, I mean the Xbox X1, it's the sensor, the Connect sensor itself. And so there's that. And then you're gonna need the Connect to USB adapter, and these are available on Amazon. There's third-party versions of it. So you're gonna need the Xbox Connect sensor, and then the USB Connect to USB adapter. And between the two of them, you can get these on eBay for like thirty dollars, and these are for like ten to twenty dollars. So fifty dollars is your total hardware. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go and plug this in to my computer. And this is going to go in as, I believe this is a USB 3. Yeah, so it's a USB, it's blue, so it's a USB 3.0 into the computer. Okay, and then I'll see you on the computer side. Hey, welcome back, and I'm just checking that my system audio is working because I just recorded this and it didn't, I didn't have any sound. But anyway, you've seen the hardware that you need. You need a Kinect sensor, and then you need the Kinect to USB 3.0 adapter. And like I said, the sensors are going for about 30 bucks on eBay and maybe $20 for the adapter. After you've done that, and let me offer this disclaimer before I go any further, is this is just the way I got it to work for me. I don't guarantee that this is going to work for you. So please don't be upset if this doesn't work. This is just what I found worked. So the two things that you're going to need to download is one is called the Connect for Windows Runtime 2.21811. And you just download this. It comes as a zipped file. And once you get it, you extract it. And I'll show you what to do next. And then the Connect for Windows, which this comes as a SDK 2.0. And this comes as a ready-to-go executable file. So you download these two things. And I don't know if the order of operations is important, but this is what worked for me. So, And I just tested this on another system, and it worked perfect, another Windows 10 computer. So after this is downloaded and extracted you'll go into your downloads wherever you downloaded it to and if you click in here double click on this file you drill down into the drivers and there's this one there should be this file that says connect sensor dot inf and what you do is you right click on it and you click install and then it will install on your system and you're done you may or may not get a message saying that it was successfully installed but click install then after you're done with that go ahead and run the connect for windows uh, sdk 2.0 then after that's downloaded and installed then you you search in your system and go to the sdk v 2.0 browser and open that up and when you do you're going to come to this screen which is the configuration verifier and then just go ahead and click run now it's going to take a few moments to run through its steps and it's going to give you this kind of warning exclamation point right off the bat that the configuration updates need to be updated. I don't know what that's all about. And then, I don't know if you just saw that, but this one was a warning and then it turned into a green check mark. It should turn into a green check mark if everything's working okay. This will stay as a warning and this will stay as a warning. I don't know what more that it wants from you here. And then on this one, the USB controller, it just simply says that an unknown USB 3.0 port was detected. Your USB configuration may support Connect for Windows. But if this green checkbox comes on, then you're going to be good to go. And once you click this and you scroll down, you should see it operating. And you should see it two lights on your Xbox Connect sensor. The, the lights will come on. So if you're seeing this, if you're seeing this on your system, then it's running and you're good to go. And so I hope this works for you. My only advice would be, you know, who knows how long these files will be available online. So once you download them, I would also back them up and archive them so you always have them. And then while you're at it, you might as well go ahead and pick up an extra Connect sensor or two because Microsoft stopped making them back in 2017. But they literally made hundreds and thousands of them, so you can pick them up still for about 30 bucks. So this isn't a bad way to try to maybe get started with. It has all kinds of applications. could be used for even for a robot if you wanted to. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time. If you haven't been able to 
get it to run and you followed the steps, previous steps, one uh, suggestion is to try to just restart your computer. And then another thing you might try to do is come over here to the Windows and type in Device Manager. Double click on that, open that up. And then you should see the Connect sensor here. And uh, if you right click, you go into it. And if you right click and go into Properties, like it will say that it might be running properly. There's the system here, Power Management. By default, this is on, and you can just try clicking it off and see if that helps. So those are two additional things you might do. Restart your computer and then also turn this off device to save power setting and see if that helps. And if it doesn't work after that, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, take care, and I'll talk to you next time.